our first segment, we'll meet an entrepreneur who takes recycling one step further. Like ancient alchemists who search for a way to turn common metals into gold, this modern magician has discovered an even more valuable transformation technology. He turns waste into black gold, oil, and gasoline. The amount of waste out there is enormous. 12 billion tons of solid waste produced each year in the United States alone. It takes the nation's dump trucks 323 million trips to carry all that trash. But some say there's more than rubbish in the landfills. Brian Appel's company believes there are riches, a renewable energy resource. We open this valve and the oil comes out from here. They're turning waste into fuel, and they've invented an ingenious new technology to do it. It's already proving itself at their pilot plant in Philadelphia. Well, this plant takes any kind of organic material, that's anything with carbon, and we convert it into an oil, a gas, and a solid. Since almost everything on Earth contains carbon, this technology can turn almost anything into oil. The process is broken into multiple steps, and that's our key. They start by shredding the material and mixing it with water so they can pump it through a pipe. Then they apply heat and pressure to begin breaking it down to the molecular level. Next, they separate the mixture into oil, solids, and gases. And finally, they convert the oil into gasoline and diesel weight fuel. It all happens here, in the giant chemistry set Brian Appel and his team have built. They start by preparing the trash for transformation. In this case, old tires. They're ground up and water is added. That's key. Now that's the, one of the big differences of what we do as opposed to other people. We actually use water as our friend and this is the beginning. Next, the material is pressure cooked. So all we're doing is now cooking that material under pressure. Where does the pressure come from? From heating the material and from this pump. The solids come out here. This is where we make our activated carbon or our carbon char. Then the water and oil are separated. Think of your, your oil and vinegar because the oil floats on top. These are our distillation tanks. All that happens here is the gas goes overhead, the oil floats on top of the water, so we separate the water from the bottom, the oil from the middle, and the gas from overhead. The water is recycled, the volatile vaporized gases power the plant, and the gasoline oil. And you can take this right out of the machine and put it into a diesel engine. The chemical process used to make this magic is called thermal depolymerization, or TDP. But don't let the name scare you. Defining what thermal depolymerization is is really simple. It's just a thermal process. It's just a heat process that breaks down material at the molecular level. And we use water to do that. Water gets in the interstices and breaks these molecules apart. In fact, TDP is all about copying the Earth's natural process for making fuel. We're supercharging that process and doing in minutes what the Earth would naturally do in just thousands and thousands of years. It follows nature's process. It was abundantly clear from the very beginning that it did that. And so it was a matter of determining pressures and temperatures, both in the first and the second stage. It may seem too good to be true, but thermal depolymerization is for real, and it's making fuel from even the foulest waste. At the Southwest Water Pollution Control Plant in Philadelphia, Brian Appel's technology is converting sewage into oil. This new process is really exciting. It's basically the future today. With the existing technology, our sludge is taken to land application, and it still is basically sludge. With the new technologies, we'll no longer have sludge, but we'll have reusable products such as oil, gas, and coal. The difference in the Butterwell Turkey plant would be to really change the liquid solid centrifuge. Uh, we'll, we Appel recently right built a $20 million facility in Carthage, Missouri, that will digest over 200 tons of turkey processing waste each day and spit out fuel oil. 
And that's only the beginning. If we were to take all of the agricultural waste, which is six billion tons, we can conservatively convert that to over four billion barrels of light condensable oil um, every year. That's the same number we import. With TDP, we could have plenty of fuel for future generations without having to dig more oil wells. Earth's currency is this carbon. This carbon is already up here. And if you take the carbon that's above the Earth's surface, that's in the renewable energy cycle. Why has no one done this before? You could say it's because Appel is thinking outside the dump. We say there's resources in that trash. Let's not destroy it and send it up a smokestack. Let's go and mine that. And we can mine the same metals, we can mine the same minerals, and we can go after and harvest that carbon and turn it into useful products. So it's a totally different mindset. Thermal depolymerization, TDP, is a technology that could truly turn trash into treasure. There probably isn't a waste in a fuel plant in your neighborhood yet, but there may be soon. Plans are already in the works for Alabama, Nevada, Colorado, and Italy.